Hi everyone, welcome to Cosmic Turtles. My name is Tina, and today we're doing a reading for Pisces Nation. So we're going to start off with three Angel Tower cards. We'll get some clarifiers on them. And there's also, we're going to get pull a card from two other decks and bring all the energies together. Alright, so let's see what else we've got. Pisces, you came out in your own in your own reading. That's awesome. You've got the King of Water for the last card. Awesome. Alright, so first we start with the Two of Air. Being unable or unwilling to make a decision, a stalemate. Pretending there is no problem. That's the first card, and we'll get some clarifiers on that. You could be at a standstill at the moment for a certain aspect of life. Two of air is like the two of swords. It's usually she's like this, she's blindfolded, she wants nothing to do with the outer world. She's going within to go and seek some answers. At the moment, she's not able to make any decisions. She or he, but in the picture it's a female, but it doesn't matter. It's only about the energies. Next, in the middle, we have the pager air. Logical, honest, impulsive, curious. Challenging information, delays or changes in, to plans, truth delivered without tact. So it could be towards you or you towards another. You may be saying someone's truth in their face and it's not done in a gentle way and the other person takes it wrong and it's understandable because anything done without tact and it's, 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 there's a way of bringing a truth to a person for them to be able to receive it right. But whenever something is, and it depends on the level of sens sensitivity of a person, you could be the one receiving the information. Pisces is known to be sensitive. All knowing, yes, but sensitive. Okay, so uh, challenging information, delays or changes to plans. Although logical, honest can be very impulsive, so it could be on your side or on the other. So we'll get some clarifiers. She tried not to take things too personally, and then you'll be able to take in an info for what it is, regardless of how they, they presented it. But you can also learn uh, uh, what not to do when you're delivering a message, okay? You can learn wisdom from whether it's a negative interaction or a positive one. You can always extract the wisdom from it and not be so affected if you learn to detach from personal attachment to how people are saying things. Not everyone has the ability to express themselves in a, in a, in a more receptive way, okay, or in a way that's more acceptable, or more gentle, or, you know, so take that into consideration, any info you get, take it with a grain of salt, and just let go of what's, you don't need to know why this, that, that, just, it was the message, sometimes their behavior is an indication of their frustration towards you, Listen to the words too, so we get easily distracted. I have Pisces in my chart. We get easily distracted on the how it was presented to us and then it affects us. However, if we learn to detach from taking anything personal, taking things as, the, as, as it is, it gets a little easier to take in knowledge and make proper changes or adjustments, okay? Next, we have the King of Water. Trustworthy, compassionate, respected, cultured. Open your heart and mind to those around you. Trustworthy and heartfelt advice. Charity work. Look at that. That's the night of water. Did I even show you the page of air? I don't know if I did. I think I kept talking. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Okay, page of air, and then the next one was the knight of water. That's why I said you came out in your own, in your own reading. A uh, knight, king, king of water. That's good. Came out as a king. 
So let's get a Shaman's Dream Oracle and see how we can bring, uh, what is the overall energy for this specific reading. Okay, what do we have for our Pisces Nation? Crown Games. Right Use of Power. So the overall energy is about you learning how to use your power in a good way. So that kind of answers the question about truths delivered without tact. You need to get into your king of water status to be able to give heartfelt advice as opposed to blunt forced truth to others because they won't take it. They'll be on the on the defensive right away if it's brought that way and then they'll, they'll just turn around and never want to see you again. They won't take advan uh, advice from you again. So it has to be delivered in a tactful way, compassionate way, and then they'll be and then they'll respect you more for the value that you bring. Okay. So that answers that question. Let's get a clarifier on the two of air. Let's see what we get for our Pisces Nation. Let's get a clarifier on the two of air. Ooh, Ace of Wands. Being unable and unwilling or unwilling to make a decision, a stalemate, pretending there is no problem, and then you get the Ace of Wands to clarify. Ace of Wands is usually a new opportunity that is presented to you concerning what you're passionate about, like it's in your field of interest. But you're having a hard time accepting it, maybe. Okay, that's what came out. This is what clarifies it. Could it be that you feel that you don't deserve it? That's why you're blocking your own chances of advancing into what you love doing? Challenging information, delays, or changes to plans, truth delivered without tact. And then a clarifier, Ten of Cups, feeling satisfied. Page of Air. So that's a page of swords. A message about love. A message about love coming towards you, about fulfillment, about the ultimate fulfillment. Someone may have approached you and said, look, uh, I'd like to do this with you. And maybe your response, due to the feeling undeserving of it, your response kind of made them just turn around and not offer this anymore. The right use of power. Or you weren't interested and you said it bluntly, they didn't take it. And that's totally up to you, you're allowed to do that. But there's a change in the energy of Pisces, you know? Pisces went through the ringer, it wasn't easy for them. Well, let's see, I got a song that's looking for love in all the wrong places. It could have been that. But then you came into your king status. You're realizing that aspect about you. You are valuing, you're becoming more compassionate. You're opening yourself up, saying, yeah, I, I do deserve. So the clarifier for the king of water is the six of pentacles. It's the card of generosity sharing so you're sharing more instead of hiding so I slowly you're learning how to use your power in a good way and this will be more beneficial and easier to in the flow of life okay trust in yourself and the divine has your back and is helping you out Always remember that.
That's a truth, a timeless truth for any one of us. Ah, the card that came out right away for numerology, that's the next card of, is love. You deserve love. Love on yourself first. Know that you deserve love. Make sure every cell in your body knows this. Then you're ready for the next stage. So this has been your reading, Pisces. I am Tina from Cosmic Turtles, and we'll see you next time.